you know, to get started, really, the P5 350 was announced about a year ago at the FESPA show. We're incredibly excited about it. For Durst to kind of double down on the industry, develop a product really from the ground up with a lot of new features, with a lot of new capability, really, I think, says a lot about Durst, says a lot about our confidence in the industry. And I think, you know, we were able to really produce some new and exciting things in printing technology that I'm going to talk to you about today. First of all, the P5 350, the first hybrid product we've made in a 3.5 meter format. In fact, I think it's the first on the market with that large of a format size. In the past, most of our hybrid devices were two and a half meters. That was great for an eight foot board. You could run it landscape. Probably not the most perfect format size for a lot of the three meter roll work that's pretty common in our industry. So that 3.5 really gives us a lot of flexibility to run again eight foot board or even larger but also be able to run roll media, obviously three meters, even slightly larger, two 60 inch rolls. Uh, tremendous flexibility from that standpoint, just from a format size only. This has got the Ricoh Gen 5 heads. We're able to operate up to 1200 DPI. Uh, and we're looking at speeds, top speeds close to 4,000 square feet an hour. We've gone beyond that though. You'll see a couple features on this product that are quite unique. The roll capability actually allows you to set up two sets of rolls, two rolls, and then two sets of two rolls. So basically you can be running one roll job, have the media already loaded for the second roll job, so that the changeover can occur very quickly, very effectively, without a lot of time in between. With this uh, setup where you've basically preloaded the roll that's gonna replace the first one, we probably cut that time in half. It's also true of the feed system. We basically now can have six boards running at the same time. Now we've got sensor devices that allow you to gauge the belt system on um, you know, a random basis and then feed that into the machine and essentially have six different queues, almost six different printers operating at the same time. So we've really looked, as I said, at the whole workflow, the roll systems, the rigid systems, and tried to improve the whole process and whole workflow and how work is actually handled on these, on these printers. <laughs>